sote tumekubaliana mambo ya uchaguzi iko nyuma yetu nafasi tulioko nayo sasa na ndio kazi nimekuwa nikifanya kwa miezi tano zilizopita ni kudhibiti hali ya uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya my first assignment the last four, year, four, four, four five months was to consolidate and stabilize the economy of our country that had been battered by reckless borrowing and unnecessary subsidies. That is why today the economy of Kenya has stabilized and I want to assure all our citizens that we will not go back to reckless borrowing, we will not go back to subsidies that benefit brokers, cartels, and people who are politically correct. We will not go back there. We are going to promote instead production. And that is why four million, four and a half million farmers today are accessing fertilizer that we have subsidized as government so that we can support our production and eliminate the challenges of high cost of living. We are on that trajectory. There is no need for others to threaten others with demonstrations. You had five years of the handshake shenanigans. And that is the reason why the cost of living is where it is today. I have stabilized the economy. I am now dealing with the cost of living. And we are not dealing with it on a short-term basis. We are dealing with it in a sustainable manner. And the fellows on the other side are not going to give us any lectures or any lessons because they have none to give. If they had any ideas, they had five years to implement and they did not. Mimi nataka ni wakikishie hii safari, tutatembea pamoja, tutaishimu kila mtu, tutaishimu haki ya kila mtu kufanya hile anataka kufanya. Na mimi nakubali yale Deputy President amesema, sote tumechaguliwa. Mishi amesimama hapa, amesema mambo ya watu walikoni. Anataka hii, anataka hii, na tumesikiza. Na tutakubaliana vile, tutatekeleza. Lakini, tukienda kukorogana kwa maandamano, hata mambo ya wananchi itapotea hapa katikati. Kama huyu mishi sasa angekua maandamano, hata haseme hile, hamesema huko maandamano, nani atasikia? Sindio? So, tunataka tupange hii kazi pamoja, tushirikiane, tuende mbele pamoja. Na watu wawache mambo ya kutisha watu wengine. You know, I, I want to tell our friends, it is the height of impunity. It is actually the slave master mentality for anybody to imagine that leaders need their permission to work for the people who elected them. Every leader who has been elected has been elected by the people of Kenya and they have assignments, they have constitutional responsibilities to discharge. I want to tell all leaders in Kenya, we do not need any permission from no character to be able to serve the people that elected us. We need to figure out how we are going to work together, serve the people of Kenya, elections come and go, but the people of Kenya remain and our issues must be consistent. We have been elected to think about the people of Kenya. Tunaelewana jameni.